So the big story tonight brings us into the ICU for a type of coverage that the local media hasn't been able to give you during this pandemic. Not yet. Let me let me explain. So we spent a lot of time, as you know, explaining how overwhelmed our hospitals are. We do that in a lot of Zoom interviews right on the computer. We show you footage, stock footage. Most of the time it's stuff that the hospital sends over to us, but we haven't actually walked the halls until now. We reached out to several hospitals, the places, the places at capacity, and we asked if we could take a look inside, get a look around, and some of them said yes. So yesterday, Pat Doris went to St. Charles Medical Center in Bend and embedded in the ICU where they are at full capacity. So with that, let's bring in Pat Doris and talk to him about his reporting and what he's learned here. Now, first, Pat, I'm just interested. You know, you have been somebody who's covered this from the very beginning. You've done a ton of interviews. You're very knowledgeable on the topic. What has did, did, did going and seeing this in person change your perspective at all? Well, it just deepened it, you know, to be able to kind of hang out with the doctors and nurses and see what was going on. I mean, to be able to stand outside an ICU room and watch, you know, the workers, the doctors in there with a, you know, squeezing the oxygen bag to try and keep a person alive who had uh, severe COVID-19. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. I mean, so that was remarkable. And watching these teams of nurses gear up and put on all the clothes and then quickly open the sliding glass door, you know, to another room and then go in uh, to try and take care of somebody. That was you know, it was pretty profound. And to feel the frustration and the angst of the people that are working there, knowing that this is preventable and they just are really having struggles with why people are not getting vaccinated. All right, let's talk about that preventable part of it, because um, as we know, most people who end up in the ICU are unvaccinated, but there are some vaccinated people who show up there. And we know people go to the ICU after being vaccinated. We know people, some people die after being vaccinated with breakthrough cases. And I, I believe that feeds into the whole misinformation that the vaccines aren't effective. But can you talk to us a little bit about these situations where people are in the ICU and have been vaccinated? Sure. There are special cases. There are people getting sick who have been vaccinated. That's called the breakthrough case. A lot of those, you know, the worst is a like feels like a bad cold. But there are some people. In fact, when I was at the ICU, out of the eight patients that were there with COVID, there were three who'd been vaccinated. Now, they tell me that two of those three were also on drugs for um, chronic illnesses that made them immunocompromised. So their immune system was really suppressed. And even though they got the vaccination, it did not create the antibodies that could recognize and fight the virus. The third person had one dose, and I'm not sure what the vaccines were for any of these two people, but they had one dose and they also had multiple underlying conditions. So those are the people that are ending up the sickest of the sick, people who are already kind of on the edge and then the virus comes along and gets them. Okay, again, this is just kind of a preview of some of your reporting. We'll go much more in depth in the days to come. Can you give us any idea of what you might be getting into? Well, we'll show you the struggle to save that woman's life in the ICU, a woman in her 50s who was admitted seven days earlier and suddenly was in real trouble. And uh, we'll also talk to the doctors about the burnout and why they're so frustrated and you know, some of the things that they're willing to say now publicly that I'm sure they've been saying for months and months privately, uh, you know, they might shock some folks. You think the doctors are, you know, they never get their feathers ruffled, but these are human beings and they see a serious problem and it's getting worse and worse and worse. The hospitals are full. There's no room at the inn. And part of what's going on, Dan, is they're pushing community members out that need surgeries for cancer, for heart issues, that sort of thing. They're not able to get those surgeries because there's no bed for them to recover overnight. And they say that some of those people are dying in the community wow. because the COVID patients are taking up the bed. So we'll wow. talk about that more as well. Yeah. Okay. Pat Doris, thank you, sir. My pleasure.